Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Today is Thursday, December 6th, and today I want to talk to you guys about an article that I came across this morning. The Large Hadron Collider, or better known as CERN, has been shut down and will stay down for two years while they perform major upgrades. There's CERN, all lit up, looking like a spiral. Uh, the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, is getting a big boost to its performance. Unfortunately for fans of groundbreaking physics, the whole thing has to be shut down for two years while, they work, while the work is done. But once it's back up and running, its enhanced capabilities will make it even more powerful. The essence of the Large Hadron Collider is to accelerate particles and then direct them to collide with each other in chambers. Cameras and detectors are trained on these collisions, and the results are monitored in minute detail, and it's all about discovering new particles and new reactions between particles and watching how particles decay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I found a lot of interesting information in this article. Um, and also, I just want to state before I go on any further that I believe CERN is a machine or a tool that they're using to tear a hole in the veil or to open up a doorway between our third dimensional reality and fourth dimensional existence. Um, real quick. Just a you know a rundown on what I believe about the fourth dimension. I believe the fourth dimension is a dimension in which spiritual beings or angels or demons entities can exist within, or they do exist within. Uh, gray aliens, they're demons. They exist within that fourth dimensional space. Um, they can cross over. Yes, they have a way to cross over, but they can only cross over a couple at a time or whatever. Hence, why we are invaded by them. But if we tear a giant hole for them all to cross over at once, you know, this is all crazy. It is. But let's keep going. The shutdown is called the Long Shutdown 2, LS2. The first shutdown was LS1. So they shut this thing down before. I've got to look into this because I swear they ran experiments between 2013 and 2014, but here it says they didn't. And it took place between 2013 and 2014. During LS1, the power of the collider was improved, and so were its detection capabilities. The same will happen during LS2, when engineers will reinforce and upgrade the whole accelerator complex and the detectors. The work is in preparation for the next LHC run, which will start in 2021. It's also to prepare for a project called the High Luminosity LHC project which starts in 2025 now i just want to point out high luminosity um they you know this whole thing has lucifer written all over it to call the project luminosity lucifer is an angel of light um you know the illuminati they're a bunch of satanists i mean the high luminosity project it's very clear what's going on here um you know it's i know it sounds crazy when i say things they sound crazy coming out of my mouth but if you if you've read your bible and you believe in god then it's not that crazy the run of experiments done between LS1 and LS2 is called the second run, and it went from 2015 to 2018. That run produced some impressive results, and a ton of data still to be worked through. According to CERN, the second run will produce 16 million billion proton proton. 16 million billion proton proton. You know, what is the point of that? The proton, proton, million, billion? Is that like a, a reflection type thing? Mirror image as above, so below? Uh... You know, it's uh, it's almost like they even name these things satanically. 16 million billion proton-proton collisions at an energy of 13 TeV, which are tera-electron volts. That's just the amount of power. It's the voltage. And large data sets for lead-lead collisions at an energy of 5.02 TeV. <clears throat> Excuse me. This I'm sorry, I'm sick if I keep clearing my throat. I just had to get this to you guys. This means that there is an equivalent of a thousand years of 24-7 video streaming data stored in CERN's data archive. So there is a thousand years of 24-7 video streaming stored in CERN's data archive. There is no one man, no group of men, no bunch of men that are going to be sifting through this data. That will be an artificial intelligence that will need to sift through that data or that is already sifting through that data. So that leaves to be said, who made this upgrade possible? Who wrote the plans for this upgrade? I'll bet you it was AI. The enormous catch of data from the experiments during the LHC's second run dwarfs the data from the first run, and it's all because the energy level of the collider was almost doubled to 13 TeV. It gets harder and harder to raise the energy level of a collider, and the second shutdown will see the energy raised from 13 to 14 TeV. 
The second run of the LHC has been impressive, as we could deliver well beyond our objectives and expectations, producing five times more data than during the first run. So they need 6,000 years worth of data. And there's your number six again. That number of the beast is always in these things. Lucifer or Satan, whatever you want to call him, the devil, he always signs these things himself. Uh, hence the High Luminosity Project, 6,000 years worth of data. At the unprecedented energy of 13 TeV, said Frederick Bordry, CERN Director for Accelerators and Technology. With this second long, run, long shutdown starting now, we will prepare the machine for even more collisions at the design energy of 14 TeV. By every measure, the LHC has been a success. For several decades, the existence of the Higgs boson and the Higgs boson and the Higgs field was the central question in physics, but the technology and engineering required to build a collider powerful enough to find it was simply not available. The construction of the LHC was made, made the discovery of the Higgs boson possible in 2012. In addition to many other beautiful results, over the past few years, the LHC experiments have made tremendous progress in the understanding of the properties of the Higgs boson, adds Fabiola. Fabiola, so fabulous. Fabiola G G sorry, Giannotti, CERN Director General. The Higgs boson is a special particle very different from the other elementary particles observed so far. Its properties may give us useful indications about physics beyond the standard model. The discovery of the long-theorized Higgs boson is the LHC's crowning achievement, but not, on, but not its only one. Many parts of the standard model of physics were difficult to test before the LHC was built. Hundreds of scientific papers have been published on the results from the LHC, and some new particles have been discovered, including the exotic pentaquarks. There you have it again. Like I said, Lucifer signs his name all over these things. Pentaquarks, like pentagrams or pentacles. And a new particle with two heavy quarks named XICC++. Okay. This is that particle. Obviously a computer-generated image. We just have to take whatever they tell to us and give to us as gospel. After the upgrades in LS2, the third run will begin. One of the projects in the third run is the High Luminosity LHC, or HL-LHC project. Luminosity is one of the two primary considerations in the colliders. The first is voltage, which is being improved from 13 to 14 TeV during LS2. The other is luminosity. So, again, like I said, Lucifer's name is all over this thing. Luminosity means an increased number of collisions, and hence more data. Since many of the things physicists want to observe are very rare, a higher number of collisions increases the odds of seeing them. During 2017, the LHC produced about 3 million Higgs bosons per year, whereas the high-luminosity LHC will produce at least 15 million Higgs bosons per year. This is important, though. It was... This is important because though it was a huge achievement to detect the Higgs boson, there's still a lot of physicists who don't know the elusive particle, or who don't know about the elusive particle. Sorry, I don't know why I'm skipping words. By quintupling the number of Higgs bosons produced, physicists will learn a lot. So this is uh, during their last shutdown. This is like a huge magnet or whatever that they were dropping down there. It says one of the Large Hadron Collider's massive dipole magnets being replaced during long shutdown one. You know, and the thing about this, like the magnets, these giant magnets, these extremely powerful magnets that they're using, um, like I said in my last video, everything we perceive is vibrational. Uh, they're using these magnets, it leads me to believe that they're trying to manipulate the magnetic field or the electromagnetic field, which in turn could open that doorway between the third and fourth dimension. I can see how this is literally going to tear a hole. These magnets are massive in their, the power that they're using. I think that they haven't at all succeeded with CERN yet, and that's why they keep shutting it down and, you know, making it more powerful. And that's probably why China's building what they're building, because they were like, damn, we didn't build CERN big enough. Um... I got to see where China's at with that. Oh, I really do. If I, if if they're done or if I learn something that's like uh, an aha moment or wow, that's, you know, crazy, I'll make another video about it. Because CERN is most certainly building their own large particle collider or whatever, and it's way bigger than CERN. All the data stored at CERN from the LHC second run will mean physicists will keep busy, will be kept busy during LS2. 
There may be things hidden in that massive collection of data that nobody has seen yet. There will be no rest for humanity's eager army of particle physicists. The rich harvest of the second run enables researchers to look for very rare processes, said Eckhart Elson, Director for Research and Computing at CERN. They will be busy throughout the shutdown examining the huge data sample for possible signatures of new physics that haven't had the chance to emerge from the dominant contribution of the standard model processes. This will guide us into the HL-LHC when the data sample will increase by yet another order of magnitude. So they need more power. They're going to, the nut, that high luminosity LHC in 2021, I think that's going to be the tearing of the veil. They even labeled it, named it after Lucifer, high luminosity project. You know, like I've said before, I could be crazy. I could be wrong. I could be right. Or I just am crazy. I don't know. It's Take it as it what it is. I, I get my information and I present it to you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you haven't hit the notification bell, go ahead and do that if you want to be alerted when I make my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. May God bless each and every one of you. And I hope you guys join me in my next video.